Carbon is an emergency response platform that gives people the ability to deliver smart and rich data from any kind of devices to call handling systems. You founded Carbine in 2014. Can you tell us a little bit about what Carbine is and how it functions today? I founded Carbine in 2014, as you said. Uh, the main reason was to help emergency services around the world to get the information they need in case of emergency. All you need to do is to dial 911, 999, depends where you are around the world, or use our different variety of applications. And by tapping one tap, we are immediately delivering all your information, including video streaming, encrypted peer-to-peer, -peer, your exact location, all your personal information that you gave us, and some of your medical information. And also we are giving you the ability to chat with the dispatcher in case you cannot speak. And how did you come up with this idea? Oh, it's all started in 2013 when I've been robbed in Tel Aviv Beach. When I tried to call the police, the call takers start to ask me, what's your name, where are you, what's happening around you? And I thought to myself, how come that still in the 21st century I need to supply so much information for call takers? And how come that me and you, in these days, when we are, we are calling Uber, ordering pizza, they know exactly where we are? And I decided to found Carbine. What was the technology that you, you figured out would be able to solve this problem and that underlies the platform of Carbine today? Currently we're focusing on the, we call it time to dispatch. It's the time from the moment person is calling to emergency services up to the moment the call takers are understanding what's happening and sending the service to the field. The first challenge was how can we deliver the information and what kind of information needed to be delivered to the call takers in order to help them understand what's happening. So the first thing is the location. How can we get the location from the devices and stream it into the call taking system? Second was how can we help the call taker to understand what's happening in the field? So video streaming was the answer. So you can see what's happening in the event. And then we thought about people with disabilities. What's happened if you cannot speak? If you were kidnapped? So we added the chat. This was the first part. But then the second part and the most challenging part was all those call taking systems are a legacy. They don't have the ability to show video. They don't have the ability to give you to chat with the person. So we had to build our own call taking system. When you're trying to go from legacy systems, municipality by municipality or district by district, how do you really integrate those legacy systems which may vary onto one integrated platform that is Carbine? So we are not integrating to the current call handling system. We are replacing the call handling systems. And where have you replaced them to date already? So we have systems basically all over the world, from Asia to Europe, in Latin America. We also signed our first deal in the United States, and also we have, of course, all over Israel, so it's expanding. Walk me through how it works. So basically, with our smart technologies, according to some regulation in specific countries, we are asking you for consent to open your camera location and to share it with the call taking systems. Mm -hmm. We have smart technologies that can locate you even in the indoor space within one meter accuracy. How long does it take for you to actually locate me within one meter? It's very fast. It's a matter of seconds. And what will the future look like if you know all the municipalities across the United States and beyond have integrated Carbine? We are currently focusing on the time to dispatch, how to deliver information from A to B in the most efficient way. But the next phases would be how can you deliver that information to the forces on ground? How can you deliver the information from the person who reported to the hospitals? So the hospitals will get the information from the field and basically will be able to look at the injured person in the field and already prepare the equipment for the person to come. So all this entire ecosystem is very, very huge and very complex around the world and we have a lot of work to do.